Well, hello everyone, Lock Garden Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And in this video here, I just want to talk about how you overwinter or naturally stratify milkweed seeds. So let's jump right into it. So excuse my energy in this video, I have keto flu. <laughs> so my body is in full of ketosis right now and it just is it's, it's a little in shock. So I have keto flu. So I'm gonna try to keep my um, energy up as much as I can, but I feel horrible. So um, just please bear my energy. Um, I apologize for my energy in advance. If I'm a little low energy or not like myself today. But anyway, all right, so in this video here, Again, we wanted to talk about how you overwinter or actually str naturally stratify um, milkweed seeds. If you know milkweed, like butterfly weed and tropical milkweed, um, which we know the danger of tropical milkweed. If you don't, I'll put the link in the description box. If you um, grow those milkweeds, those pretty much, I've had them germinate without the stratification process. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to phase out the tropical milkweed and get my yard full of native milkweed, the swamp milkweed. And butterfly weed is actually native to my area as well, and it's really, really easy to germinate. Um, no stratification needed when I threw out butterfly seeds. They just, butterfly weed, they just came up. But I have um, this pink swamp milkweed that I am going to naturally stratify. And I have the white swamp milkweed. And I have the um, Hello Yellow Butterfly Weed that I'm going to still net, let naturally stratify because it's my first time growing the Hello Yellow. Well, naturally stratifying the, the Hello Yellow. And I have another packet of sweet, uh, the um, Pink Swamp Milkweed. I actually have a lot of these packets of the Pink Swamp Milkweed. If you can't tell, that's like my favorite milkweed that I'm most excited. I haven't gotten any flowers on them yet because this year was my first year growing it. Um, and I did the artificial stratification. If you don't know how I did that, I will put a link in the description box showing how I um, did a stratification process with uh, in the refrigerator. So even when I'm not stratifying them, I still keep these seeds in the refrigerator or in the freezer. I keep all my seeds in the, in the freezer. But um, I just pulled these out of the freezer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out my boat bed back here. And I'm just going to lay some new saw down and I'm gonna show you guys how we stratify these. So what the point of, and I realized I did this entire planning and everything without explaining the purpose of cold stratification. So if this video seems a little bit out of, um, out of order that's the reason why but what cold stratification does is it induces it introduces the milkweed seeds to a period of cold and moisture that's what they go through in the winter cold and moisture and that period of cold and moisture that puts them in a dominant state but when they have gone through that cold and moisture and then they hit that heat that heat wakes them up and tells them hey it's time for us to to um, take root it's time for us to start growing so the heat takes them out of dormancy now now, tropical milkweed again does not need cold stratification it's a warm temperature um it's a warm climate milkweed so it does not require cold stratification that's why it's so popular even though it does have its dangers to the monarch and we'll get into that in another video i have talked about it in several videos but i put the link to one of the videos in the description box but that's why um, another reason why tropical milkweed is so popular is because it does not need to go through that cold stratification. And I tried to grow um, native milkweed, swamp milkweed, and I thought common milkweed. I tried to grow those milkweeds in my area, but I did not know about stratification at the time. So I was, so I was just going in the spring and I was getting these seeds and I was throwing out and, and, and nothing was happening. So, um, yeah. So after you press them down, you just leave them uncovered. Um, and just let nature take its course. Just let nature take its course. But this is pretty much it. It's just that simple. You just take and if you and this actually works better than the artificial stratification because um, I noticed that when I naturally let everything stratify naturally, is I get seeds sooner and I get more germination when I do it. Um, the um, cold stratification that I do myself in the refrigerator and the freezer it is um it's good it's really really good but I get a higher germination rate when I just let it just let nature just do its thing so yeah 
and also in this video i want to talk to you about why i have you here if you only because the question that i keep getting is if you only have tropical milkweed and you want to help the monarch butterflies and you don't have any other milkweed yet what can you do to keep them from getting confused uh, are getting our are, are cut down the possibility of the OE spores. What you can do is cut back your tropical milkweed. I know people are like I don't want to chop uh, cut down my tropical milkweed. It is beautiful. It's full. It's flowering. Whatever. Yes, you can cut your tropical milkweed back if that's the only kind of milkweed that you have, and you really, really are investing in helping the monarch butterflies. You can cut back your tropical milkweed. That will allow it to grow new, fresh leaves, and that will keep the OE spores from just growing and growing and growing on there. You have new leaves with no OE spores and I have, I'm sitting right by my milkweed here and I'm going to show you guys. I cut this milkweed back when I released my monarch butterflies. Oh. Anyway, um, I cut back my tropical milkweed, um, when I released my monarch butterflies and I believe that was the beginning of August. Um, or in the middle of August, I don't know. I have to look back at the date on that video. But when I released my monarch butterflies, I actually cut back my tropical milkweed because I did not want them to stay in this area. Because right now, as you can see, I have a duster on, so it's kind of cool here. And if monarchs would have gotten trapped in my area because I have all this tropical milkweed growing, then they they would have died trying to get back south. So um, cut back your milkweed. If you have tropical milkweed, it's a fall. Cut back that milkweed so the monarchs will not get confused and I do another full video on what you can do if you only have tropical milkweed but let me show you guys if you are feeling funny and don't want to cut back your tropical milkweed let me show you guys what happened to my tropical mil milkweed after I cut it back a month ago so let me show you that so right here you have tropical milkweed that I cut back one month ago and look how full that tropical milkweed is and look how green and plush it is it's only three milkweed plants in here but it is so just tremendously full and these leaves are absolutely beautiful so if you are afraid to cut back your tropical milkweed have no fear they will grow back and it's not a fluke i'm just going to show you the other containers a couple of the other containers that's one right there another one right there and that's um, where I cut those back last month as well. And then we have another container right there where I cut that, that back. That's tropical and swamp milkweed. I did not want to um, not cut back the swamp milkweed as well. I don't want any kind of OE spores or I didn't want them to get confused at all. So I cut it all back. And you can see over here. You get a, kind of a better look right here on how it was cut down cut all the way down maybe about two inches to the ground and they grew right back so don't be afraid if you um, have tropical milkweed instead of letting those OE spores grow or instead of letting um the monarchs get confused go ahead and cut it back let it grow some fresh leaves but I'm about to cut this back again um, just in case we have some monarch scragglers around here in Georgia so yeah so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clear out my boat garden here because I want next year I want this um, boat garden to be full of monarchs. Nothing but milkweed, maybe some stevia or some zinnia somewhere. As you can see my zinnias they're just growing like crazy. But I have, uh, I still have some bees because I have cucumbers over here and peas in my garden and a lot of things that, a lot of other things that they can use to get their, um, pollen and nectar from. But I'm just going to clear out, um, everything in this boat garden. So yeah, let's do that.
I was actually doing with the hole is I was taking the hole and I was pressing the seeds down. So that's what you want to do. After you planted your seeds, after you spread them all out, you want to take them and you want to press them down. You can use a roller, you can use, but I just like using the hole. You can use your hand. Um, some people like walk on them or whatever, but I mean, I'm... 220 pounds so I ain't finna be jumping in no boat walking on those seas but um anyway um I was using the hole to press them down so that's what you want to do once you plant them you want to press them down and that secures them in the ground don't cover them up because milkweed does need light to germinate and plus that's how it happens naturally um the reason that I am doing this right now and at the end of September is because this is how it occurs again naturally um you the the point of it is is what is when the milkweed seeds and of course I cut all my things off when the milkweed seeds when they um, open up and they blow out and they disperse um, they don't have someone to come and cover them up they just disperse and they land on the ground and they just sit there and so whenever you um, cold stratify it is always going to depend on your area what the weather is like in your area when they start going to seed when they start the seeds start um, when it starts self seeding in your area so it all depends on your area so but that's pretty much it and um, I hope this video helps someone if you have some more information just please put it in the comment section I welcome all information regarding anything but thank you so much guys for watching and as usual to bye bye